Hey, thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. I was thinking about this uh, automatic drafting of 18 to 26 year old male and females. Our children, they youth, they are not grown yet. They can't drink alcohol. They can't do a lot of things, but they can hold a weapon and, and be a tool in the, uh, the ruler's hand. But I want to know if they are drafting from your license, from your voting registration. I, I need to know how they going about doing this. And if they're going to be selecting Arab children, Asian children, and Indian children as well. We know they select poor poor and destitute Caucasian American citizens and black people but these other communities are well established because they have businesses in our neighborhoods so their children are well off so will going to college exempt you Will you be exempt? Do you have any exempt, any religion? This is very interesting. And they have allowed so many immigrants to come across the no border. And they have allowed a lot of Asians, Chinese over here who United States say are the enemy and, and, and to be feared but they hear by the thousands so will they draft anybody else in their military and, and, and be fearful that they may be a terrorist or a spy can you trust them now you know black people are not going to be a spy against the establishment. They will spy for you. We are known to be sambos and spies and a tool in our enemy's hand, telling and squilling on your own people. So they don't have to worry about us being a spy or a terrorist. So I don't know. And I'm hearing that the U.S. allegedly is not the number one anymore. It's over. It's multinational now. It's over. So, I'm going to end with that. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think about it. Those who have loved ones and family members and friends who have children who are of that age, 18 to 26, you're still a child. You can't buy a house, you can't buy a car, you can't get an apartment, you can't buy groceries. But you can go and be selected automatically the super rich their children don't go you should take a course in world and geopolitics world history and the history of the United States and that include slavery how the enslavement of Africans was one thing, but the brutality that they endured, that's another thing. They need to know all of that. So, and study all the wars, at least write a paragraph on all the wars that um, the U.S. have been in. And I think it's about 20, this country is 250 years old. And you can Google 
how many brown and black people have been annihilated. And when you annihilate a person, unalive them, that's the word they like to use, the Eucharism. You unalive their parents, their children, those who they were engaged to, their neighbors, their friends, the church members, the co-workers, people that knew them, you destroy their lives too. You don't just take one person out, you take out many people. All those years and effort and energy that the parents put into raising that child, and then anyone can come by and just snuff them out. So, and don't know why. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening.